Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And uh, I'm here today to put a reward out. Now, if anybody, anybody out there can get footage for me of Eddie Hearn's four amateur fights that he had as a, he as a heavyweight. Now we're talking about a man here that's six foot five, eighteen stone plus. He had four fights as a heavyweight, super heavyweight, whatever, whatever it was, uh, in 19, what, 20 years ago? Was it something about 20 years ago or something? 22 years ago. So 1999, I think. What are it? 1989, 1999. It's over that over them periods, but you can go back from 95 to 2000, right? Go back from 95 to 2000. He used the name Eddie Hearn, Edward Hearn, Edward Hills, Eddie Hills, or even Ed Hearn or Ed Hills. It's any of them six names, but he says he were called Eddie Hills. Now, nobody has got any footage of these four fights now. You would have thought, wouldn't you, that Barry Hearn, now the man that's, you know, a multi-millionaire has been, has been years, Barry Hearn, right, a man like Barry Hearn, having, he's only got one son, you would have thought a boxing promoter, right, a boxing promoter, like Barry Hearn, you would have thought they'd have had some footage in the 1990s, in this modern day, and in this day and age, you would have thought that they would have had some footage of his son, little Edward, or Sir Edward, or little Lord Fauntleroy. You would have thought that they would have some footage of Eddie Hearn's four amateur fights. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hand over 10,000 pound right ten thousand pound in tickets for four events next year right and they'll all be title fights on dennis hobson shows right i'm gonna give you them tickets right and i'm gonna pay for them out my own pocket right with dennis he'll go mad when he finds out what i've done here but i'm gonna back it up because these tickets they're only gonna be what's not sold aren't they so what i'm gonna do if anybody Right, can find footage of Eddie Hearn's fights. He had four fights as an amateur, heavyweight, stroke, super heavyweight, wherever it were. He had four fights, and they were all at Billy Ricky Boxing Club. His words, it's on IFL TV. His words, but nobody seems to ask him this, do they? So, Eddie Hearn, did you have a fight? Or didn't you? If you didn't, why don't you just come out and say, well, I had four spars, they weren't officially amateur fights. But you see, the thing is, Eddie, once you tell a lie, you can't tell another. And then another, it's a bit like people who say they've give people big charity donations, doesn't it? You can't even ask them people now, can we? Because they just cut you dead. Well, that's what Eddie does now. He do not allow you to ask the question. See, this is what happens when you're dealing with liars. So, let's see if anybody's got footage. There's a £10,000 reward. That's cash as well, because we all know what, what happens when you sell tickets. It's cash, in it? You've got tickets. Do what you want with them. You can sell them. Whatever. So, or you can have 10 tables over 10 events. I'll give you a table per event. If I have a table every event. You can have the full table. I'll give you that for the next 10 events that Dennis puts on. But I want to see footage. Let's see footage. Let's see footage. These these fights that he had. Or if we can't see footage, let's see the people who he's for. I mean, surely to God, somebody must be coming forward. I mean, Eddie's the number one boxing promoter in the world, but how come not one person has come forward and said, you know what, I fought Eddie Yearn on an amateur show. Nobody's come forward, have they? Dennis had amateur fights, we know who he's fought, he were in programmes and that. 
Nobody's come forward and said, yeah, I fought Eddie Hearn. Nobody, there ain't any photos. Nobody's come forward, there's no photos. Jimmy MacDonald, who he said trained him, he don't remember it. Nobody seems to remember anything. There's no footage whatsoever. I, I can't... You know, I... <laughs> Look, we're being lied to, aren't we? We're being like, yeah. I had four fights, you know, I were... Our super heavyweight contender coach, yeah. I could I could have been I could have been a runner bean. I could have been a runner bean, yeah, coulda woulda shoulda. Nobody's got any footage. Nobody's come forward to say he's doing well for his Saint Eddie here and he earned forty five point four million last year. I fought him. There's nothing there's nothing in newspapers. Is there anybody out there we're looking for four fighters? Four people in this country who fought Eddie Hearn as an amateur. Where are you? Where are these missing people? I'm putting an APB out for these people from me, from Porky's Corner. Nobody else dare do it. And if anybody cares about boxing, they'll share this. And this video will go viral because we want some answers. So I want, I'm not on Twitter, so I want you to tag everybody in. I want you, all you hardcore boxing fans out there, if you love old Porky, I want you to tag pe tag these people in, because these people will love this video. Stephen Espinosa, Lou DiBella, Steve Lillis, Big Daddy Bunce, Frank Warren, Alfie Warren, Francis Warren, BT Sport, all Eddie Hearn's rivals. That's what you do, that's called marketing. It's just like... Eddie cutting my legs off from Twitter. They've done it three times now. They've cut Ultra Tech off from Twitter. Well, sometimes when you tell the truth, that's it. But like I said, Eddie, I'm going to be on you, mate. I'm on you, Eddie, so don't worry about it. Soon as you give me the interview, Eddie, you can do it on the telephone. You can do it on the telephone. Or we can do it in person next time you're in Sheffield. But... Either way, right, you're running from me, Eddie, you're running. You're frightened to death to come on my channel. A little small YouTube channel like Porky's Corner. And you are frightened to death. Frightened to death. Aren't you? Frightened. Because you know it didn't happen. It never happened, Eddie. You never had a fight as an amateur. Never had it. It didn't happen. It's in your head. It's in your head. You're saying it because you want to make out you're, you've been involved in that life. You're a bit of a geezer. Yeah, I were a fighter, but I went into promoting. Load of rubbish. Your dad got you a job doing golf, didn't he? Load of rubbish. You've had it all given you. You've had it on a plate all your life. You are not from that ilk. You're not cut from the same cloth, Eddie. You're talking like an Essex gangster. You're not a gangster. Then people you knock about with in sugar up, they're not gangsters. They're not gangsters. None of them have done any porridge. And the ones that did grasp everybody up, you're not a gangster, Eddie. You're not a drug dealer, you're not a gangster. You used to smoke a bit of weed in your teenage years. That's it. You're not a gangster. You used to bully people at school. Now, we all know what happened with Jody Marsh. So, tag Jody Marsh in this as well. Tag Jody Marsh in. All right, we all know what happened when you were in the same school as her, don't we, Eddie? You were rotten to the core. You was a bully. You was a bully. And bullies don't like being confronted. You are a bully, all right? Now, nobody can stop me putting these videos out on YouTube now. Nobody. I haven't even started. I'm just getting warmed up, all right? I'm just getting warmed up. So one of these days, Eddie, I'm going to appear with these questions and I'm going to have a cameraman. I'm going to pay a cameraman to come with me. We're going to do a stakeout. We know where you live, Eddie, and it's a gorgeous house. But I'm going to block you in traffic and I'm going to put these questions to you. It's personal now, Eddie. You're swerving Porky's Corner and you're swerving hardcore boxing fans. That's what people like you do. You swerve the situation. You Usually we can't shut you up. Thomas Hauser has asked you for a comment on this Julio Cesar Chavez situation and you have 
broken the Muhammad Ali law. That's a federal law. You might just not get a license in America ever again now. You might have to do it in your daddy's name or, or Frank Smith with the spots name or Anthony Lever's name. You might have to do it in their names, but you can't do it in your name. All right. So answer the question, Eddie. Did you have four amateur fights as a boxer? If you did, what were the names? Come on, surely you know your na you know the name. Anybody who's had four amateur fights will remember the names. They can't just say, "Oh, we're at Billy Ricky uh, Boxing Club." Ask Jim uh, Jim McDonald, because Jim McDonald's not going to come out and say, "No, it didn't happen," is he? Because he's going to need to work with you down the line. These people want to work with you down the line. Who else was there? Who was there? Who was there? Because it didn't happen. It didn't happen, Eddie. You know it didn't happen. Alright, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing, all right? It's a fantastic sport. Tomorrow I'm back in the office, I'm back in the saddle, and I am full on. Full time, and that's it. We're going, we're going head on against Matchroom, against Sky Sports, and against anybody who's bullshitting boxing fans, all right? Now I'm going shopping now. And I'm gonna go treat myself to a new Lacoste top, a pink one. Alright, peace out. Because I deserve it.